myself in my shoes for a second. Not personal, I'm just saying. some characters out there and they are characters um that aren't necessarily insured they're not necessarily licensed we call them chuck in a truck sometimes and it, actually a chuck in a truck could be insured and licensed but yeah. but some of these people aren't there's a problem out there with this right yeah there is and i can tell you that you'll usually find these guys lined up at your home depots and your you know your big stores where you're where you're shopping and you see these guys prevalently and you know they're willing to give you their their card without like a a, a license number on it just a phone number on it and if they don't have a website or something like that it's usually a pretty good sign that these people are are not licensed or insured um and and it's a big problem in our industry because it uh, really keeps pricing inconsistency out there People don't really know what they should be paying for the type of services that we're providing. Um, and then, of course, there's no repercussion for you, the homeowner, if something goes wrong within your home. Sure. So a licensed plumber, if something happens, the, the homeowner has some recourse. They can contact the state and the state says, yeah, we have a leash on them. We know who they are. Um, but if they're not registered, if you will, it's like, it's like a dog that has dog tags or not, right? You're supposed to license the dog, register right. the dog. So if something right. happens, you can say this dog bit me. Oh, they belong to so-and-so. Well, when that contractor is not registered, we'll say not, you know, non-licensed, then there is very little recourse because the state's like, we don't know who they are. We can't find them. It's just some guy you wrote a check to good luck. And People want to save money because often they will get a lower quote from the uninsured, unlicensed home service provider, in this case, plumber. Yes, and that's that's very common in a lot of the states that are what we call the right to work states where uh, anybody can go out and do X amount of work for up to a certain amount without a license. So there's a lot of these companies out there or what we call uh, what they call themselves a company. They're just, they're not really a company. They're just a, a, somebody out there providing a service and they're, and, and they're circumventing what the actual laws are. And that's why it's important to really, you know, hire somebody that's licensed and insured because we do know law. We do know what we're, you know, what we're supposed to charge up front, what we can take from you, what we can't do at your home. Um, we know all these things because we have actually licensed to do these things. Um, it's it's important because maybe it's not a dispute that you're having, but if you just don't like my services, um, you also have a recourse, uh, you know, against uh, against my bond and against other things if you uh, if you don't feel like paying for the for the services that we provided. So we have a we have a strong um, you know reason to make sure that we're performing our services very well for you, and you have a recourse to make sure that we're doing it. Yeah, and I've been dealing with contractors for twenty years checking them out, checking insurance licenses and references on them to make sure that uh, the people who are in these communities have a great resource. And it's really important. Do not try to save money on a professional job. Now, if you don't care, fine. If you care about your money, your safety, uh, the value of your home and all of that, hire an insured licensed plumber. Bob, thank you so much for joining me today on the program. Appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. Great topic.